Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. A little midday upload, evening upload early on your Sunday night uh, for today. Because we're looking at the market, it's still crashing, and I want to bring another video to you guys talking about what in the world is going on. And can we see a little bit of a rise in some areas of the market later tonight with squad battery rewards coming up in the, the next uh, few hours and then into Monday, which is usually a quieter day on foot. So we'll talk about that. Talk about SBC fodder as well. I want to mention some of that stuff uh, and just the crashing of the overall market today. Now, just a few minutes ago, we did get our Sunday content from EA Sports, which in my opinion uh, was okay. We had a Felipe Anderson Porto left mid. Yes, Felipe Anderson is no longer at West Ham. He did transfer earlier this year. Uh, so another Brazilian, another left wing, left mid card. We've had so many left wings and left mids. And this has been a thing like for the past couple FIFAs, honestly, we've had a lack of right wings and this year especially. So I guess EA has something against the right wing position. I don't know. But this is an 84 rated squad. High chemistry like EA always does with these SBCs. Uh, 80 chem. So you do need an 84 in a team of the week. So it's like a 75 or 80 case um, squad builder. For that Felipe Anderson. But the best thing is this card should go to an 86 in a couple weeks because Porto, Porto should be getting out of the group, uh, group stages into the knockout rounds. And if you give this guy a plus two, he's going to have over 90 dribbling. He's going to have in the 80s and shooting. And the card is four star, four star. It's not that bad. But the other argument is why not just go and buy Tyson on the, off the market for basically the exact same price. So if this is something that interests you, uh, of course, Telez is now on Man U, so uh, you don't have that Porto link up that you could have had from um, previous years, but that was our content today. I think a decent amount of people will do that, especially now that EA has put out two SBCs that basically link to each other. You might see some people in foot rock the Alexandro and Felipe Anderson back to back. So that's interesting. But the real reason why we're here is to continue looking at this market and it's crashing literally again today. I woke up this morning to see Neymar is hovering around that one mil range, but he's even closer to actually going under, which right there he's sitting at a million coins flat. And is this sitting on the market? Well, okay, it's not sitting on the market. So it looks like so cards sometimes, I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but some cards uh, sometimes on the market, they, they just seem to have like a, um, a spot where people say that I'm going to buy this card if it gets this low. And usually that card does not go below that spot. It's like a, it's like a floor basically, if you, if so to speak. Uh, and I feel like that Neymar floor is one mil. I do feel like he might dip under that a little bit after seeing more of this panic selling today. Um, but this Mbappe panic selling is crazy, man. I thought last night at one, three, three would have been the lowest, but again, there's more panic selling today at one, three, one. I honestly believe, boys, that this is going to be some of the lowest prices that we see um, for some cards on the market this weekend with this sell-off, just because the sell-off is so massive, it's so extreme. I think this kind of has to be uh, some of like the time for the Black Friday sell-off. It's, it's happening early this year, kind of like it did in FIFA 19, two weeks before Black Friday, uh, but it's here and it's happening, boys. So that is something uh, that... We have to watch. And if you want any of these guys for your team, like I said yesterday, this Mbappe or the Neymar or the Cristiano Ronaldo, like, to be honest with you, what are you waiting for? Like, what do you need to see more of a drop on these super high rated meta cards that everybody wants to buy for their team anyway, um, that you makes you not want to pull the trigger right now at the moment. So let's get, head over to Footbin and take a look at some of these things as well, um, because some of these prices on the lower tier cards are still dropping. You know, Joe Gomez, you know, some of these other lower tier items that are lower rated, I would hold off on buying some of those because I still think uh, there's more panic that could come with those with maybe some pack supply or something like that. But what you can be seeing today and what you could possibly look for today is since we have squad battle rewards tonight and people are so used to buying stuff on Sunday night, uh, what you might see, and I got to do a little capture challenge here as I load back in, but what you might see is some of these out of pack special cards that have been panic sold so much today, right? The gold cards we're always a little bit unsure about, right? It's, it's so hard to time the gold cards because they're always in packs. They're the most supplied version of any card on the market for every single player, uh, their base item. So it's harder to really get the buy time on these, which is why I've been saying, yo, Mbappe is this low. That is probably near his lowest. That's why I'm fine with you guys buying this for your team if you want to do that. But when we're looking at these out-of-packs cards like Rule Breakers or like Informs that have absolutely 
got destroyed today. Some of these cards are so meta, so popular, and with people selling them, and they're so rare at the same time, I just feel like there has to be a little bit of a bounce back on some of these items. Podence at 76k is crazy. I know we keep getting left wing SBCs and new left wing promo cards. Royce at 410. I sold this guy last night or two nights ago at 470. Lukaku is down almost 100k. Teixeira is down over 100k. So these cards are very rare, right? And they are also super valuable, right? But they're also out of packs. And that's the two most important things that we can see with some of these informs and some of these drops is... You might be able to find some of these cards tonight. And since we didn't have a lot of content today on Sunday, I know the market is just in panic mode and a lot of people are not going to touch it. But if you want to get a, I don't, I don't even think this would be uh, described as risky. If you want to try to make some coins at the moment, Valverde's inform card is 245. This guy was 310 earlier this weekend, right? earlier this week, he was 310. Look at this drop off. Yesterday on Saturday, he went from 280 down to 261, right? 261, he went back up to 275 overnight a little bit, and then boom, 257, 270, and now he's dropping all the way back off today. So some of these out of packs informs, if you want to try to make a quick flip, all right, I think it is possible that you might be able to buy some of these cards this afternoon into the evening with squad battle rewards and watch them rise up into Monday, Tuesday, because oftentimes on the market and on the game, Mondays are pretty bare. They're pretty, pretty slim. Like our biggest Monday content ever, I think was like, uh, you know, the, the mile or the, what is it? The foundations, the, the MLS foundations, um, objectives that came out before. And maybe we see another foundations or a league SBC come out tomorrow. I guess like a league SBC might be the only thing that I would not be afraid of, but uh, think that could possibly come. So Valverde was 245, and maybe this stuff is going to start rising back up a little bit as people know that it's out of packs, and the panic selling uh, at a point has just gotten too low. So I do think that might be a possibility with this card specifically, 254. Um, but other cards, other informs on this game are just stupid, stupid cheap as well. And, you know, we, we keep wondering, we keep asking, like, a lot of people have been asking me, when do I buy for my team? And honestly, that's... The, the question is, when do I buy for my team? Well, right now, the prices have dropped so much. Like, in a sense, what are you waiting for, right? What are you waiting for? Are you thinking that the cards are going to drop even further in the next two weeks? Now, if it's a card that could get in best of team of the week, right? Like a Rashford or, you know, somebody like um, Ben Yedder's informed card is down a lot. Now, if it's a card that's probably going to get in best of team of the week and that's what you want for your team, then we might have a situation where we say, hey, all right, let's stay away from that inform. But if we have a guy like your, we were just looking at Valverde, I don't think Valverde would be, would be in a best of team of the week. Um, maybe like even a Timo Werner. This guy is down 120,000 coins from where he was. And this is Ben Yedder. This is the OG rat. This is the guy, right? But I think a lot of people are expecting him to get into best of team of the week because he did last year with an 85 in form. Um, oh my goodness. And some of the stuff that has just dropped so low um, is is ridiculous. Kyle Walker's inform is 550,000 coins. This guy was 620, 630 this weekend. This is like all the pros basically, or all the pros and meta guys using meta teams are selling these cards off this weekend. It's crazy. Um, so I do think some of these cards will bounce back up into the Monday, Tuesday timeframe. I don't expect a lot of crazy content this week on FIFA. Well, I know we're into the middle of the road of the final promo. We have an objective out. Um, I was actually working on Korea a little bit this morning since I'm not playing foot champs this weekend. And we've had some SBCs. Now, nothing has been added to the code as of right now that would make me scared of a big time SBC coming. Um, but it would have to be another repeatable type SBC for me to change my mind and think that the market's really going to crash because all the pack SBCs we've been getting lately are untradeable, right? I, we do get marquee matchups and stuff like that. Um, I guess one um, SBC that we could see tomorrow would be the, um, the Lewandowski player of the month. That could be something that we do see. So that is an SBC that we could keep our eyes out for and we could watch. Um, and speaking of SBCs, we've kind of talked about where I, I do think uh, some of these special cards could go. And let me touch on one last thing about this. If you're looking to try to maybe flip some of these special cards, right? Like I'm mentioning a lot of panic selling today. At some point, the panic selling has to stop. Our card will get too low. And since it's rare, like these out of packs informs are, some stuff will bounce back a little bit, right? Like this Kyle Walker would be one to get interested in. This Thomas Partey card, 
is very interesting as well. So if you're looking at a card that has dropped off an absolute ton today, right? Partey was 142. I guess he's only down 10K, but that's a decent chunk in percentage uh, on a 140,000 coin card. So just make sure if you're buying a card today to flip that it is very hyped, right? It's a very OP and meta card that a lot of people in this game like to use. And it is probably not getting involved in the best of team of the week because a guy like Ben Yedder, maybe even a guy like a little bit, I might be a bit skeptical of how much rise they could have in the next day or so, um, just because of that possibility of them and people know that those cards could be re-released back into packs. So just kind of keep an eye on those. If you're gonna flip a card, I think my favorites would be the Rule Breakers and these Road to the Final Team 1s. Some of these cards are actually up a bit as people have invested in them. Klosterman's back down. Davies is up about 40K. Rashford's up 20K. Griezmann's up 20K. So these would be other cards that I would watch today as well if they get low. Now, these Road to the Final 2s are still in packs um, for the rest of this week, so I would not touch those. Of those, still need to drop a decent amount, in my opinion. Same thing with Team of the Week 7. I'd wait on those. Uh, and I would wait on these guys too, because these guys are going to get panic sold more and there's going to be more supply coming on in the market for these other Europa League road to the finals. These guys are kind of chilling in price though. They've kind of found their range. And so now, so now if I saw in Diddy at 200k flat, that for me would be like a trigger price uh, because I think that'd be pretty low for him or maybe under 200k. Aubameyang at like the low 800s, Sanchez at like 5 50 and under possibly that would be kind of a trigger price for me as those cards go out of packs on Tuesday but let's talk about SBC fodder SBC fodder as well because I mentioned I wanted to speak on this 83s are still kind of chilling a little bit inflated of course yes we do have the demand for the team of the week SBC that is out uh, 1.6 1.7 k for a lot of these cards um, they're up a little not a ton though 83s 84s and 85s excuse me 84s 85s 86s have started to rise a little bit. And this is one way where you can track the cards on, on a big scale, right? Index 86 on Footbin. On Saturday night, these guys were 161 points. Now we're up to 172. And a lot of these cards are up like 1 to 1.5K a card. A lot of the 85s and 86s. I think a lot of people today are also going to be doing club stocks. You can see it's happened today on Sunday. A lot of people are being told to snatch up some of that high-rated fodder uh, just in anticipation of like a Lewandowski SBC, more player of the month's coming out. And of course, some people think that this Friday, which I think this is something we're going to have to think about this week and kind of ponder with the new season coming, this Friday would be a time that EA Sports did this last year too. They dropped the repeatable base icon upgrade, I believe. I have to go back and check on this, but they dropped that icon SBC before Black Friday actually happened. So that would be something that we could possibly see this week. So speaking of fodder, I don't think it's like super duper low. My ideal time frame for this would have been if we had a pack supply SBC today that was tradable, maybe go through and bid on some cards, snag some cards, put them in your club, but we're not really seeing that, of course. So this stuff is probably going to rise into squad battle rewards, and I would expect it to actually rise after SB rewards as well, because people are going to see that and know that, hey, that's a time for supply on the market. And a lot of times at SB rewards, this stuff kind of goes up because people just invest in it. So um, if you're looking, like I'm looking to do player of the month sun, I'm probably going to look into doing that sooner rather than later, because I think this fodder is going to go up a decent amount higher uh, just because people are going to be investing in it. Uh, and so if you do want to snag these, uh, some of these for your club, I don't think it's a bad time, especially when you look back at last year, right? Uh, like Handanovic is the cheapest 88 rated card right now. He's 25,000 coins. But if we go back at last year and what happened when the base icon repeatable came out, you can see what happened. This guy's price went flying. All right, let's zoom in on the graph a bit. You can see he was 18,000 coins, 23,000 coins the week before. Went to, uh, he's an 88 rated card like he is this year. Um, and he went from 20 three down to 18, whatever happened right here. But then boom, when the SBC came out a couple days before Black Friday, he went from 20,000 coins all the way to basically 40K. And the reason why he jumped that high and all the fodder did this last year was because that SBC was repeatable. Repeatable and the first time an SBC comes out is huge. So this weekend, if we just got a regular icon SBC, maybe it wouldn't go up as much unless it's really good value. But I still think a club stock is... Uh, if you haven't done it already, if you don't have any of those cards in your club and you have the coins to do it, it's not a bad idea uh, whatsoever. So that's kind of the stuff that I'm thinking of right now. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on the market. Um, I'm 
specifically looking today, if I have a little bit of time to do this, I'm going to sit down and maybe trade with some icons because the index icon, the icons didn't really drop off yesterday that much. But what you're seeing today on the market is a lot of icons have really started dropping off. Like um, Baby Ferdinand is right now showing on Footbin as a card that is down a ton. This guy was usually around uh, about a close to a mil. And right now it's looking like on Footbin, maybe it was just an undercut, but he was just listed at 900K flat. So I think that was a bit of a, a bit of an undercut. But some of these icons, when they get undercuts like that, um, they're really, really good to trade with. So just keep your eyes out if you have um, anywhere in, in your coin range of like over 300,000 coins. Uh, this could be something to look out for on the weekend leak sell-off is trading with these fluctuations and knowing that a lot of these cards get panic sold um, and they get panic sold and listed way too low just because people are trying to take the coin. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market right now, boys. Don't panic, all right? I know it sucks. It feels like we're all losing coins. It is what it is. It is gonna bounce back and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna figure out ways to make coins in this downturn uh, with you know some trend trading possibly and ones to watch trading as well because there are a decent amount of games that are going on right now. There are some ones to watch items that are inflated because of possible team of the weeks uh, like Vidal. Uh, Wales is playing Ireland right now and Gareth Bale got an assist. I'm just seeing this just now. I just got a notification on my phone that Gareth Bale got an assist. So I don't really know if that would make his card go up, um, but that is interesting. So just once these ones to watch items as well. Like yesterday, I was I was showing you in the video that Leroy Sané, right? Watch this bail card after the game today. He might go down if he doesn't. Um, if he is man of the match and they do win, EA might find a way to give him an inform if they wanted to. But let's say uh, it doesn't look like he's going to get a team of the week or like yesterday with the Sané, he was 380, 390, went down to 310, 320, and then rebounded back to 340. Uh, so a guy like this Bale could go down to 175 and rebound back to maybe 190 or 200. So just kind of think about that stuff as we do have some UEFA Nations League games happening in the early days of this week as well. Ones to watch is going to be something to keep your eyes on. So this video helped you out at all. Smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.